A former Clinton advisor who previously blasted the Democratic Party for lacking a moral compass has joined the third party candidate Cornell West's 2024 campaign. That's Newsweek. But here is the announcement. My framing of this discussion is not to cancel anybody, not to say that anybody is saying that because nobody is, but I'm just trying to do the most extreme thing I can think of. No one's saying cancel Jill Stein. I'm not saying that at, at all. When we are in community and we're on this, this fight, there's going to be a disagreement. This is a disagreement of people on the same team. I'm not talking about the pseudo left, the NATO left. I'm talking about the people to their left who are all back in this third party candidate because the Bernie Sanders industrial complex is back in Joe Biden. They've all said it. So you have to ask yourself, who is the constituency, though? For a Green Party, a party that is outside of the third party, who would vote for a Green Party with all the propaganda that if we do, if we don't stop Trump from getting in office, democracy die? A person who would hear that sort of nonsense and go, fuck it, I'm still voting Green, that is the customer. Think about it that way. That's the customer. You have to ask yourself, what does that customer want? How do you make that customer happy? How do you make that customer engaged in order for this to be a movement? How do you do that? I can tell you one way not to do it. You don't appoint somebody like Peter Dow. You don't bring in somebody like Peter Dow. If you're trying to increase enthusiasm, if you're trying to get some donations, if you're trying to get some volunteers, adding Peter Dow as a campaign manager is to get the opposite of that. Ask yourself this question, and I pose this to Cornell West and Dr. Stein. Do you think adding Peter Dow inspires people to give donations to the Cornell West campaign? Do you think more people would give donations or you would have more donations if you had a different campaign manager than Peter Dow? Because you can say all you want. Oh, if you're a real person, you wouldn't. No, no, no. It matters if you have a corrupt, despicable person like this on your team, not even on your team, because I can say, let me answer one of the pushbacks before I even get into her thing, because this is the number one pushback. He's reformed. I believe in because I believe in re, a, a, a reformative justice. But what does reformative justice have to do with putting the person, said reformed person, into a position of influence, power, or advisory? That Those two things have nothing to do with each other. No one is saying Peter Dow should not be a part of this movement. No one is saying Peter Dow should not uh, support Bar uh, Cornell West. No one's saying that. So him being reformed, yes, you right, fight right alongside us. But he is part of the rank and file. He is not to be put in sort any sort of leadership whatsoever. That's the point. So let's um, let's get into this tweet here. So let's analyze this from a strategic point of view. We'll do it from a, a bunch of point of view. Strategic policy point of view. We'll analyze it. But like I said earlier, but let me say it again so it's included in this in this segment. Jill Stein had to come out with this statement because Cornel West was catching all the heat for the, the decision she made. Cornel West made the announcement, and I'm telling you, you go look at his announcement, that shit's not good. Let's read it. Newsflash. It was me that brought Peter Dow to Cornel West. Why? Because I learned how essential an experienced campaign manager is from my campaigns without one, let's stop here. Experienced campaign manager. Now, let's say Peter Dow's an experienced campaign manager. Experienced in what way? Is his experience a good thing? Like, did he win any campaigns? What is the use of the experience if the experience didn't win? What's the use of the experience? This is a more important question. What's the use of the experience if the experience was slimy and terrible and despicable like he was when he was a campaign manager involved with the Hillary Clinton campaign. What's the use of that experience? 
So that's fine. That so she's apparently saying, "Hey, I've been through this. I didn't have necessarily the most experienced campaign manager, and it was hard." So I understand the importance. Are we saying there's only a despicable, a person with such a despicable history? Let me describe it that way. Maybe he's not despicable now. Despicable history such as Peter Dow. There's no one else who doesn't have this sort of albatross, sort of this thing, this thing around his neck. Let's continue with the tweet. He's the most experienced campaign manager I know. I I know of with in independent Green Party politics and strong opposition. This is where Jill Stein lost the vast majority of us. Right there. That's where you lost us. That's where you lost us because we all experienced the experience that he has. We've seen the experience and what independent Green Party politics, what history does he have of that? Where is that at? I'm genuinely asking, where is that at? This is approaching a million views. This is this is how awful this is. This is how awful this is. And I'm going to go to my tweet. I'm going to come back to the rest of her thread. This is my tweet that I went put out. The professional managerial class defending an absolutely terrible decision that says the opposite thing to working class people compared to what a Cornell West campaign was supposed to be about. And this is the key part, this next sentence. Dr. Stein, Cornell West, everybody in the camp, if you're having to come out and make the statement like this about filling a position that should not have any sort of reaction like this, you're already losing. And that's what I say here. You're already losing if you have to make a statement like this about the selection of a campaign manager. You're already losing. This is no different than Cornell West picking Nick Brana in the beginning. It feels like you're not reading the room with this pick. That's what it feels like. And I'm going to get to that in a second, more of that. This is like putting a reformed KKK member in charge of a movement to liberate black people. Insert any color of people. I said black because I'm black. I can only speak to that. But if you're not black, inserts whatever cause you have. Well, does that make sense? Yeah, you're reformed. You're not a KKK member again. That is absolutely, genuinely great. Ah, Leading the local NAACP, that's a no, nigga. That's a no. That's a no. And the reason is, I mean, it's to me, this seems obvious why you don't do that. And I'll complete it. It's, a, it's great that you reform, that you're reformed, but in no way should you be in a supervisor advisory position. And the reason this is bad is because it doesn't it make sense that a person who has been, let's use this example, this person who has been doing the work of liberating black people, or at least not working against it. Maybe you're not even doing the work, but you haven't been working against the cause of black liberation. Like a KKK member is working against the cause. Peter Dow was working against the cause that we're now saying he's working for. That's the difference. You don't put somebody who was just months ago working on the other side or for the other side. Now he's in charge of working the Green Party apparatus? That makes no sense to get somebody newly on this side to run this campaign or this movement. You know what this pick says? You know what this pick says right here? This pick says, ah, this is business as usual, working class people. Hey, dear working class and poor people, you thought you had something different with the Green Party and Cornell West. This is actually just business as usual. One deep state cesspool swamp monster just going from one campaign to the other, like Simone Sanders going from the Bernie Sanders campaign to the Joe Biden campaign, not based on anything in policy. Why do we want that for a movement we're building outside of the red blue game? Why do we want a person for hire instead of a person that's here for policy? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense for what you're trying to do, Cornell West. 
it doesn't make sense for what you're trying to do. The same thing I said when Marianne Williams and I, I was like, this doesn't make sense for what you want to do, Marianne Williamson. You want to court essentially the old Bernie Sanders coalition. Why would you get somebody who was the top smear merchant of that coalition? That doesn't make sense for your own strategy. That doesn't make sense. This is exactly the excuse we got when Jeff Weaver, Weaver was hired for the second time as Bernie's campaign manager. That's after he was discovered to be full on to be a full a full on uh, operative, and we know how that campaign ended up. This is just like that. This is a great point that Fiorella makes. People will continue to make excuses, but hiring from the same Beltway pool. I call it a cesspool, gets you beltway results, losing to the Democratic Party. They use the same tire strategies and don't actually oppose the system. It's by design. Those who naively think otherwise will see it in due time. And that is Fiorella. Shout out to Fiorella. She's out doing reporting in Moscow. So shout out to Fiorella. If I didn't care about this campaign, I wouldn't even care to even do this stream. I'm doing the stream because I care about this campaign. And this is a, like, a, you understand a third party campaign is built on so much enthusiasm. It is so dependent on enthusiasm. And this is enthusi enthusiasm squashing. Any movement is built on enthusiasm. It built on your belief. You have to be excited, enthused. This doesn't do that. Let's continue with her tweet here. Though I didn't know of Peter Dow in his days as a DNC defender, it's not hard to see how a war-torn, bloody childhood led to his fierce opposition to Bush and bondage to the Democratic Party. Are you talking about him being trained by the IDF? By the Israel, by the Israel Defense Forces. How does that look? Being for Palestinian rights, being against Israel apartheid, but you're hiring a guy who's trained by them. Oh, this is so disappointing. If only more liberal apologists would have this kind of wake up. He has. Okay, let me just read. Let me just read it. Here's her next one. Um, with an experienced campaign manager, our team can give. Cornell West the support he needs to break the duopoly and give all those all those thrown under the bus a reason to fight back. This just falls short, Dr. Stein. This falls short. This this simply is just not not good enough. This is not good enough. I do want to give just the the frank sort of uh, uh, reactions to this. Here's David Cohen. Shout out to Dan. I'm sorry, Dan, not David. Dan. Uh, shout out to Dan. He's been on the sh network many times. Friend of show, friend of the network. Um, let's look and see what Dan, he's a reporter now. Peter Dow was one of the most shameless Clintonite propagandists from the two thousand from 2006 to 2000, 2019. You mean four years ago? <laughs> when the Clinton project had run its course and opportunistically moved to the he opportunistically, opportunistically moved towards the Bernie Sanders camp. He apologized for blaming Stein and Sanders for Hillary's loss. Think about that. Stein got him, and he was blaming Stein for Hillary's loss, sir. You can't, this, you can't, Hollywood writers could not write this. But never came clean about his dirty tricks or exposed the DNC cartel he worked for. Blindly trusting Dow shows atro uh, uh, atrocious political judgment, to put it nicely. And this is what I said. This shows this is highly suspect. Cornell West's campaign went from questionable to a dumpster fire in 48-hour period. Let me go back to some of my notes here. The very fact that you're getting the reaction you're getting about the decision to pick Peter indicates how horrible the decision was. Can the Cornell West camp reflect? Cornell West, Dr. Cornell West, you talk about being improvisational. You're a jazz man. It's time to improv this decision. That's what it's time for. 
this decision is just as bad as a decision to work with Nick Brana. The Cornell West camp at the time received a lot of blowback for that selection, and the bl- and the blowback they're getting about Peter is very similar. So that's why I say it's very similar. This decision feels like the only people in the room contributing ideas in the Cornell West camp are from the professional managerial class. It feels like there's no working class vibes whatsoever in the conversations. Because think about it. You have to think about the mindset of a person of professional managerial class. You have two doctors here, Dr. West, Dr. Jill Stein. It could be unconsciously you give value to things that make you a professional managerial class, things like credentials. You give that value more than the betrayal. That could be a blind spot of being in a professional managerial class. That's why I said this feels like there's no working class voices in these conversations on this camp, which is bad. Let me go to another thing I wrote down. It leads me to something else I wrote down. If you're only in this for politics, okay. If you're just here for politics, this is what I wrote. If this was just about politics, a.k.a. the election in 2024, only that, not building a movement forward, picking Peter wouldn't be as egregious. It would be bad. It wouldn't be as egregious. But if you're saying we're trying to build a movement, when building a movement, it matters who you have in the positions of power and leadership because it's about enthusiasm. You think the Black Panthers, for example, could have gotten the number of people if they brought in to, as one of their leaders instead of Fred Hampton. Hey, can you get one of those black coons that sold us out, have him lead the chapter? You think that would have grew it? I want this campaign to do better. Let me get back to my notes here. Let me get to some other things I wrote down here. And we haven't even got to the IDF in Zionism. Is he a Zionist? If he represented Hillary Clinton... Wouldn't he had have been had to have been okay with Zionism? I think somebody said they say David Brock he represented J- Jim uh, John Kerry. Aren't all of them Zionists? How was that look? One of your uh, one of uh, Cornell West's uh, Dr. Cornell West's policies that he says and he argues vigorously and always make sure he includes is the fight for Palestinian freedom. How does it look to have an IDF Israel defense? forces trained campaign manager who's okay with zionism again if we're talking about politics only okay we're not only talking about that we're talking about a movement that requires enthusiasm you're not gonna get it with appointments like this here goes one here so again these are people replying and she has like 644 comments on this so this is what this person says West Coast Cat, Mr. West Coast Cat. Oh, no. Please, Jill, say it ain't so. Are you serious with this? I just can't anymore. I'm never taking a politician serious ever again. Y'all always end up sucking. Go join Bernie in the dead to me. Go join Bernie in the dead to me pile. Unforgivable. This is a terrible... I'm not quite sure... They grasp how terrible this decision is. I'm not sure they get that. I'm hope I hope they watch this. If all of you, all of you clips, clips, dip, clip different sec- sections of this, tag me on Twitter. I'll retweet it. Clip dip, different sections of this where points are made. I'll retweet it. If you tag me, this shit is. The word to this camp needs to be this word that I, this message that I'm preaching in this stream needs to get back to the camp here. This is a golden opportunity that you're going to allow slip away with moves like this. And it feels like you don't have any working class voices in the rooms of these uh, discussions. And if you just have the professional managerial class, you come up with decisions like this. Let's continue some other reaction here. I appreciate your honesty and forthrightness, but I also question both you, your, and Dr. West's judgment at this point. Time to explore other third-party options. The guy hasn't worked a day. 
if if this reaction doesn't cause you to rethink this and backtrack, if you are going to be uh, tone, uh, uh, a tone deaf to this message that is screaming half, you mean 40 to 60 percent of your supporters are screaming. This is terrible. Let's continue. Biden equals. I'm just reading the caption. Here. Glad to see we really have no heroes. That's a poor person disappointed. T talk about fucking up. This is a unforced error by this campaign. Jill, this ain't it, chief. Nope. He's not independent. Strong ties to the establishment. Hard pass. You picked a Hillary Clinton tool. Shaking my head. Doesn't look good. Angela, shout out Angela. I've retweeted and showed her tweet many times. If Peter Dow is our only hope for strong opposition to the Diopoly, we are truly fucked. Do you mean a campaign manager who worked overtime to prevent green candidates from ballot access? Oh my God, I can't, cannot believe that this screams professional managerial class. This is such a blind spot. You guys need some working class people on this campaign here in the rooms for these decisions. When these discussions that's giving input, because if you guys didn't hear somebody in the room, then jump up and scream, no fucking way should you pat this guy. Y'all need to ask somebody else to these discussions here. Here's some more utterly disappointed. Dr. Stein, you cannot make mistakes like this. This has done damage to Dr. West's campaign that will not be recoverable. Yes. Even if you switch him out, they, uh, Peter Dow, there's some people who left. They'll be like, nah, I just can't, man. The decision making real flimsy over there. I can't. Can't fuck with that. The, gra the glass has full for me. I can move on now. We are never too old to learn from our mistakes, even high profile, highly educated people. Here's another one. Cornell West campaign manager Peter Dow was trained by the IDF. How exactly, Dr. West, do you maintain any credibility whatsoever of standing up for Palestinian rights when you have an IDF trained campaign manager? This is Peter Dow tweet. This is a terrible decision. This is terrible. This is terrible. In the uh, Peter says in his tweet, this is from 2014. I grew up in Beirut and was in the Christian militia trained by IDF. That sounds like he's boasting about it. I, 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 don't, understand. I don't understand this. What is going on here? Has everyone been co-opted now? Here's another one. Sorry, Jill. Dow is absolutely one of the worst choices ever. He's a DNC uh, Cointel Pro operative that's already sinking West campaign. How unfortunate. I was one of I was one who was open to anyone who anyone could change their mind politically. But on closer inspection, this is a huge mistake. Uh, at first, I was surprised at the vitriol, but now. I'm wondering how this choice could have been made. I wasn't planning to vote anyway, but now the message is lost. Dear Dr. Stein, you do have a sense why folks are not happy to, to say the least. We're tired of being portrayed by political con artists. Mr. Dow comes with the kind of unresolved baggage that further slows Dr. West's momentum since his discussion with Jimmy Dore. This hasn't been a, a good week. Um, no more donations on Twitter. Qu uh, questions. Do you bring Peter Dow to Cornell West before or after he was interviewed by Jimmy Dore? That's a question he's posing. Was P Dow part of the same IDF trained militia perpetrating slaughters of Palestinians during the Sabra and Shatilia massacre of 1982? This shit is all bad. This shit is all bad. This is not this hard not to pick somebody this terrible. This is not this hard.
this is not this hard. We're not going to have an opportunity like this again. And it feels like it's slipping away. It feels like it's slipping away. I mean, just think about it. Think about moving forward. And let me adjust some things here. Think about moving forward. Anytime Cornell West says something that may seem milk toast to all of us, what is people's reaction going to be? There goes Peter Dow's influence. Anytime you choose to go easy on the Democratic Party, what are people going to say? There goes that Democratic Shield influence on the on the on the uh, Cornell West campaign. Are these good for strategically? Are these good? Is these are these good things to happen to your campaign for people to have these questions? I say no. I say you when you pick some. When, let me say it this way. You don't pick a background dancer that draws attention away from the lead singer. And that's what you're doing. These appointments should be something that's very non comfort very non like uh, earth shattering. But let's let's let me continue with this here. Um, more reaction. This is just a parody now with strong history and duopoly. Fix that. Not fighting Duopoly or uh, opposing it. I, I forget the phrasing. It's obvious that Cornell needs better campaign management, but you're going to have to do a lot to convince people that Peter isn't a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, that's profoundly disappointing. This is people responding to, to Dr. Jill Stein. Understand that. This is, let me just refresh your memory. This is what they're responding to. Um, I feel as if I've been hit by an MSNBC space laser. That's pretty funny. How could you not have heard of him? And when are failed campaigns desirable when hiring a leader of a campaign? That is the point that I made earlier. The NFL don't go, um, the Jets don't go, I'm sorry, let's pick a ticket for team. Los Angeles Rams. Um, we need a new coach. Who do we get? Who lost all their games last year? That's who we want. What campaign has Peter Dow won? I'm confused. I thought Peter Dow was the campaign manager for Hillary Clinton. I mean, if he was, if 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 he was, doesn't that that contradict? I don't know how to can't figure it out. Contradict everything in your tweet. He, if he wasn't involved in Clinton's campaign, my apologies. So the person wasn't for sure. I legit am completely without words. Shout out Jack Jack. Jack Page. Um, and then that's just my my thing there. Um, I read mine. Um, here's another one. Do you not even get that this is a war of absolute enmity? Why not? Why? On God's green earth, would you elect to have a former agent of the crown as the campaign manager? The optics alone are taking his campaign quickly amongst his already small niche based lefties and that is that is a great point any chance we can get dick cheney to run as his vp why not why not bring them all here you know this is this is all a a establishment fest just open the doors for all of them it's it's truly this is clown shit this is just a terrible terrible decision Pat is okay with it. Uh, Professor Zink is, is okay with the selection. Colin is not. I'm just giving you the lowdown as we pass some of these people. That's like, this is not going over well. <laughs> this is pretty funny. How do you do, fellow revolutionary, in a disguise like this when you can clearly see? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's a funny one right there. Of course, the Vanguard doing Vanguard shit. That's what the Vanguard does. Very disappointing. I don't. I don't know what else to say about it. All right. So here's one. One, one other thing I said here. Any non-policy decision that causes you now think about this. Because if people don't want to follow you, Cornell West campaign based on his policy, I'm gonna get. I'm for Palestinians, right? Oh, I'm not following you. That that's fine. But. Any 
non-policy decision, the pencils you use, the pens you use, in non-policy decision that causes you to lose potential donations and potential volunteers is a terrible decision, wouldn't you say? You know how many people will not donate to the Cornell West campaign now because of this? You know how many people who will not volunteer for the Cornell West, Cornell West campaign because of this? This is like trying, tying one hand behind your back before you enter a fight. Like you tying your own hand behind your back before you enter a fight. That's what this is like. It's just uh, very disappointing. It's extremely uh, disappointing because for a campaign that has so much excitement and enthusiasm around it, it seems to have died down or at least a little bit has died down a little.